but it can be, you know, um, uh, it, 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 yeah, like people, workplace environment, colleagues, a boss, or whoever can really help with that. But if it's not there, then it goes deeper and deeper and deeper, and then it becomes like a serious imposter syndrome feelings. So, and it actually so, holds you back. It's like a snowball, isn't it? So that mm -hmm. initial feeling of yeah. discomfort grows and grows yeah. and grows and becomes something more mm -hmm. if there's not the support on hand for that person to kind of come to terms with that feeling and understand if it's real or not, right? So a lot of what I work with, certainly with the man I work with, is is there actually feeling, are you actually really an imposter? And often that's an easy thing to do because there's much around them telling them that they are in the right kind of place. Whereas, again, if you're a woman or, you know, in other sorts of situations, there may not be that same validation coming from outside that you are rightfully in that correct seat, that that isn't there, yeah. that it isn't something you're almost inventing yourself, that actually there's real evidence out there to suggest that maybe you shouldn't be, right? And that makes it a, a, a different thing for you to come to terms with then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, in ideal world, uh, we would have this source inside of us, right? If we take a person who had a supportive childhood and who was encouraged from childhood to to be in us and like, you know, to, to grow in a way uh, like freely uh, without any kind of expectations or pressure, mm. then you have got this source inside of you and despite of any other circumstances, uh, you reach the position and you believe that you reached it because of your skills and you believe in yourself. But honestly, like even the research shows that women have uh, actually lack of self-confidence um, much more than men have just because the way we are raised as kids and just because the biases and stereotypes that can happen during our career growth. Uh, so that's the evidence that these sources inside of us can be really like shaken and the doubts can be like increased by these external circumstances. And in case we don't believe in ourselves and we have got the doubts, the only source and the only support we can get apart from working with our uh, ourselves, could be the environment and support from outside. Yeah, that's interesting. And like you say, there's a vulnerability involved in talking about this. 